Okay, all right, here we are. So what we're going to do today is this. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I, I'm a little uh, disturbed because <laughs> I was I was asking uh, my uh, Amazon Echo uh, what the temperature was outside. And she said, by the way, you know, I could give you a nutritional and uh, health advice. And I was like, okay, no, it's okay. All right. So I don't know if she's trying to tell me something. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do today. So today we're going to talk about, so having learned how to graph a um, exponential function yesterday, today we're going to do the opposite. So if I give you the graph, can you give me back the equation? All right. And it's actually very simple. Okay. And um, so, and it's all done on the calculator. So have your calculators out uh, and let me show you how to do that. Okay. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> Okay, all right, so let's see. Now, I just want to make sure you understand what the goal of the lesson today is, or rather even what 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 is actually the problem, all right, that we're trying to solve. So now we're going to dial this back probably three months, uh, right before we went on uh, uh, that December break, right? If I were to do this, all right, let me draw a graph. So if I were to give you a line, right, Let's just say something like this. All right, not a great line, I can tell already. Okay, this is not great, but okay, doesn't matter. All right, gets the job done. Now, let's say I put a, a linear equation, right? Because that's what this is. If I put a line here, the question is, can you tell me what the equation was? So how do we back did, did that back in the day? Well, we would find two points on the graph all right, again, I'm roughly doing this, all right, because I don't have to be precise, like, at this moment, right? You find the two points, remember what you have to do? You have to find a slope, right? So you have to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? And then you find a slope, and then you find a y-intercept, and then you give me the equation, right? That's what it was back in the day. So what we're going to do today, well, we're going to take all this stuff away first, all right? So the goal then is to find out, hey, what if, actually, this is important. What if I were to have a line that is exponential? So let me use a different color, right? What if I have a line that's exponential, like, mm, I don't know, something like this, right? Then the big question becomes, well, here's the problem. It's not a straight line, so you can't just, like, you can't act as if this is a perfectly straight line and then try to find a slope and y-intercept and things like that. There are similarities, but there are also differences. So my goal today is for you to understand what's different and really, even more importantly, how to find the equation using a graphing calculator. All right, so that's the goal. So let me get rid of all this first. Now... Having said that, so um, there's no better way for me to show you that than using an example. So here, look down here. Here we're going to find the exponential function that passes through two points. All right, so the, the Furby H, right, the words that they use for these questions really aren't different. The only difference this time is that we're dealing with an exponential function rather than a linear function, right? Linear would imply straight line. Exponential function obviously implies, uh, you know, an exponential graph. So how do we do that? Well, let's go to the calculator, all right? So here I got my calculator. Um, let me make sure I'm still recording. All right, good. All right, so what I'm going to do is now, um, first of all, clear the memory first, right? So second, remember that, right? Second mem, and then seven, one, two, right? Now, the other thing I want you guys to do, even though I don't know how relevant this is, but I think it's it's good to do so anyways, is to turn stat diagnostics off. So how do you do that again? Go to mode, go to stat diagnostics, go where on is, press enter, and then we're gonna quit, go back here, all right? Now, the question says we have two points here, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to calc, Okay, sorry, I, I have a lot of light. I have a lot of gas right now. Oops, all right, maybe I shouldn't have said that. All right, all right, so, <laughs> all right, so let's go to, what was I saying? Go to calc, 
Okay, it's stat. All right, all right. Let's start. Let's start over again. All right, stat. All right. It's been a while since we did this. So now I'm gonna edit the table. All right. Now what am I gonna put in the table? Well, uh, your two x values, right? So let me write that out for you guys. So here we got, right? We got the L1 values. And then on here, we're going to do the L2 values for these guys. All right. So we're kind of putting them like a list. Okay. So for the first one, it's negative 2, 6. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in negative 2. I'm going to go enter. Now I'm going to go to the right and put in 6. I think that's the best thing to do. So there's our first coordinate, uh, negative 2, 6. Negative 2, 6. And then let's put in the other coordinate, which is 2, 1. 2, enter to the right, 1, enter, and there we got our points, right? So what's the next step? Okay, so after we enter the points, right, we are going back to calc. So we're going to go back to stat, calc, all right? By the way, it would be great if you have your graphing calculator to follow along. Okay, again, right, calc, go down, go down, go down, where it says 0, you see where it says exp reg, right? Remember also when we did lin reg, right? Remember that? That was to do a regression on the line for a straight line, right? Hence linear regression. Here, we're doing regression again, but we're doing exponential regression. Okay, so hopefully you can see the difference. I'm going to press enter. All right. Go down. Calculate. And here I got my numbers. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And I'm going to place it there because it's easier to see. So hold on. So here I'm going to put the put the data in here. So here I got the data, right? And so this is this is just as big as part of the lesson as it is um, the first part, which is this. So see that it says, right? Now, remember at the very beginning when I gave you the formula for, I gave you three formulas for exponential functions, first of all. I gave you this, and then the intermediate one was this one, this one that you see right here right where i include a which is the initial value and the most advanced one in the eighth grade is this right so now let me highlight what i want you guys to look at then what i want you guys to focus on is this where the b is right this was also b by the way i don't know if you noticed i think i mentioned that in the earlier lesson right they both got a they both got x the only thing different is the b and the one plus or minus r so meaning the number that's here for b we actually have to we have to talk about that a little bit so but before we do that let's write out the equation first okay so let me show you how to write the actual original exponential function now a is 2.449 so I'll round, okay? So I'm going to do 2.45. 2.45. And then now we just got to figure out what to put in there, right? Now, this is going to be x no matter what because this is a general function rule and not something specific. So we're not looking for an answer here, all right? We're just looking for the overall equation. So x can be just x. So here's the thing, though, okay? Here's a 0 0.6389. This is what I'm going to put in there because what they're saying is, hey, wherever b is, Whatever B is, let me make the connection. Whatever B is, that's what goes into the equation. So it's 0 0.6, 0 0.64, okay? So that would be the equation, okay? Now, if you if you want to, if you still don't entirely get it, you know, and it could be partially my fault of not doing my best job explaining this to you, just rewind this little part and watch it again. Okay, so, or I could summarize it for you. So, okay, all right, I'll summarize it for you. So, look, if they give you two points, right, you go to stat, put in the points, right, negative 2, 6, and then the second point is 2, comma 1. And then what you do is go back to stat, go to calc, 
go to um, exponential regression, right? Go to calculate. You got your numbers, right? You copy down the numbers, and then what you do is you translate, right? So A, right? A, let me use a different color. A goes here, right? And then B goes in here, and then you just leave the X alone, right? So far, so good, right? Knowing that, then it really, it really, really is very important for us to understand what this number means. Okay, so now look at this, right? This is 0.64. So how does, right? How does one, right? Because this is supposed to be one, right? How does one become 0.64? Well, you subtract, right? How much do you subtract? Yeah, 0.36, right? So in other words, one minus 0.36 gives you 0.64. Right, so if you really, really want to write this, right, it's something like this then, all right? If you want to rewrite, it would be 2.45, that stays the same, that's the initial value. You could write 1, point, one minus 0.36 and then to the x power. See that, all right? So now, here's a follow-up question then, all right? Big follow-up question. Is this... Is this an exponential growth or decay then? What do you guys think? Yeah, it's decaying. How do you know? Yeah, it's being subtracted, right? Right? The subtraction would imply decay. As a matter of fact, let's go, let's take this even further, right? I know that A is 2.45. Um, X is X. That doesn't change. What do you think the rate is then? Yeah, it's 0.36. It went down 0.36 for 36%. Okay, so when you go down 36%, what do you get? You get this number, right? Okay, so that's it. Okay, it's a, I know it's a lot of information, so that's why I'm going to spend two days on this. So hopefully, I hope that you guys grasp the graphing portion of this, and then we're going to spend a few days, well, no, not, not a few, two, working on this part. Okay, and then you guys will get the hang of it. All right, now let's practice. So let's do it like this. Here's the second type of question. Here I gave you two points, but here I'm giving you the graph. So that begs the question, right? If I give you a graph, how do you do it? All right, and so I listed the steps already, of course. So step one, you have to find two nice points, meaning like don't pick points like this. Okay, let me show you. I'll use red. Don't pick a point like, hold on. Don't pick a point from like right here. I have no clue where that is. Okay, or don't pick a point like right here. Like don't pick a point like right here or right here because I really can't tell you exactly where that is. So what do you do? You pick two nice points, meaning like where it's a point where the intersections are. So I can I can I can spot two immediately. First I spot this one. Right? Because I know exactly where that point is. And two is I could actually spot one right here. Alright? Let's see if I can spot another point. I really can. Because I'm just I'm going up and down the line. I mean this one's good too, actually. Alright, what else? Anything else? Not really. I mean, these are these are going to be somewhat unreliable. Now, what are these points? So let me write that out. Let's see. That's 212. This is 16. And this is 03, which happens to be our um, y-intercept. Right? So that means we have two. We can pick from any two points, by the way. Right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick on these two points. I'm going to use these two, okay? And you can, if you want to use one, one comma six and zero three, that's up to you. So if I were you, I would do this right now. Knowing that I got two nice points, go ahead and repeat the process that I just show you, all right? Repeat from two points, all right? So go ahead, use the process I just show you by using your calculator 
and get to the point where you can get this screen, where you can get this screen right here, okay? And then if you want to stop there, you can. If you want to complete the whole thing, you can also, all right? So you know what's, what's the best thing for me to do? I should leave this up here like this, but then you won't see the points. Okay, all right, anyways. All right, I'm going to leave it up here like this. I'm going to move the points over here. Yeah, good, okay? So I'll leave this up here. Try it right now. Press pause. And then when you come back, I'm going to do this from scratch. Okay, so press pause right now. Okay, all right, I can't believe that took 15 minutes. All right, so here's what I'm going to do then. All right, I'm going to start from scratch with you guys. So I clear the memory again, and I'm going to turn on stat diagnostics. So I got to mode. It's crazy. This is really like, if you don't, if I don't use it, I lose it. Which is crazy because, you know, you would think that I would remember every single step in the graphing calculator. All right, okay, what are we talking about? Stat. I'm going to edit this list, and I'm going to enter into 2.212. Oops, I guess both press enter. All right, 12, and then what's the other point? 0, 3. All right, so I got my two points, right? 2, 12, 0, 3. I'm going to go back to stat, calc. I'm going to go to 0, right? Exponential regression. All right, here's the big moment. Calculate. Wow, look how clear, looks how clear, rounded, and crisp these numbers are. All right, so A is 3, B is 2. Okay, gotcha. So A, A is 3, right? And B is 2. So what's the equation looking like, right? Well, I got F of X is equal to 3, right? The initial number times 2 to the X power. Oops, X power, right? Now, what does that mean, right? Because so let's say we have to break this down a little bit. Here we got F of X, right? We got three. Now here, I'm going to put the one here, right? Like all generic um, exponential equations. Look. So here's the thing. How does one become two? Yeah, plus one, right? So here's the question. Is it exponential looking at just this number alone? Is that exponential growth or decay? Yeah, it's growth. You're adding it, right? Now, here's the follow-up question. What's the rate then? Yeah, it's 1. The rate is 1, meaning like it's 100%, right? Because otherwise, how, you, how, you, how would you get 2? In other words, these numbers are supposed to double every time x goes up 1, right? So now, uh, follow-up question. Hold on, what was the follow-up question? Oh, by the way, have you noticed, this is interesting, you notice how the initial value is 3, and the y-intercept is also 3, so you see what I'm getting at, right? The initial value is the y-intercept, okay, so that's something that you might find interesting also, so all right. You know what? I, it's this is a long. I can't. I couldn't believe how long it took me to do two questions. But it's okay. Let's stop you here. Come back to class, and uh, we're gonna practice. Okay. So thanks for watching, and thanks for following. And uh, okay. All right. See you back in class. Okay. Okay. Omg, that was so good.